When Raina Morris moved with her family to Austin from Buenos Aires almost 16 years ago, she wasn't very happy with the local food. Decide to create a Buenos Aires Cafe and give to uh, people in Austin, you know, a little bit to Buenos Aires, to Argentina cuisine. I love this place. This is uh, something that my mom started a few years ago, six years ago, and and now I've been able to be part of this wonderful family that we have been able to put together. We're like one big, big family, and that's what Buenos Aires Cafe means to me. And to Reina Morris and her daughter Paula, the Buenos Aires Cafe also means fresh, made from scratch, authentic Argentinian cuisine. We are very focused on the um, uh, quality, so we use a very uh, high quality ingredients. We made everything from scratch, everything is made fresh. We have amazing food and that it's prepared with so much love. Just a kiss, a kiss, a kiss, that's all we need. And I think that people catch that and make the dining experience extra special. I don't like frozen food, I don't like you know, pre-made stuff, so uh, and that's what I give it to my customers. The food is authentic here and that's what I appreciate about it. When I have the steak sandwich and the choripan here and a glass of wine, it, it, it gives me the same thrill that I got back in Buenos Aires in my youth. The Lomito sandwich probably is our signature sandwich. And a sandwich that's a welcome addition to the great food of Austin. I love the Lomito beef sandwich. Actually, it's a steak sandwich. It's just out of this world. It's one of Austin's best sandwiches. Best sandwich in town, for sure, the Lomito beef. And um, yeah, pretty much everything I've had here is it's awesome. It's, it's so tender. You don't need a fork if you eat it without the bread. And, and it's a, what can I tell you, you know? It's gonna melt in your mouth. Make the bread. We heat up the bread, fresh made bread. And the meat is looking good. Look at that, it's beautiful. You can see, and then we put this beautiful uh, chimichurri that is made in the promised recipe of my boss, Reina. And then we get the meat. Don't rem remember one thing, you have to salt it both sides. Only mama gets better than this one. All right, there you go. And there you have it, buen provecho. Looks beautiful, huh? And for dinner? Gnocchi Quartet. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse put all these flavors together, a little bit of um, cilantro, jalapeno, and um, pumpkin and cinnamon, and roasted sweet potatoes and chipotle. Italian dish, but with a twist. I also love the gnocchi. The gnocchi is wonderful. Here is the mushroom. We start with the mushroom. Then we add the garlic. The next thing we do is the artichokes, part of artichokes. Then we add the peppers. This is roasted red peppers, no seeds in there. And then we have the hericoberts. So we add it right after. And at this point, I put a little fresh herbs in there, a little bit of kosher salt. We get the hot gnocchis, we put them in there. Toss them a little bit, and a white wine. Just a little bit. The beauty. Make sure that you have all the beauty there and all the love. But what they're gonna feel is the freshness and the love, nothing else. Enjoy it. And then for dessert, I like the guapo uh, cake. Or you can try the pianono, the chocolate mousse, or one of Paula's favorites. One of my favorites is the chocolate spicy creme brulee. No, mm, it's not good. We're going to add another one. For Raina Morris, the hard work of bringing a taste of Argentina to Austin truly is a labor of love. Well, I really have a big connection with my customers. Uh, we talk and we become friends and everybody feel like a, this is their home. We bring a little bit of Argentina to Austin. The food touches your soul, touches your heart, and that's the idea that we want, you know, to, and, um, and that's what I do. Che, gracias por venir. Espero que la hayas pasado muy bien. <risa>